Sylvia Brown. Does that ring any bells to anybody out there? Well, I never knew much about her, but I, I guess I did watch enough TV during the daytime on whatever uh, Montel Williams or uh, Maury Povich and stuff like that, that I saw her. She's a psychic and she's famous and, you know, people love her and think she's credible and I bought one of her books and so I think she's pretty credible too. There are things about it that I don't really think I want to believe. Like, she believes that we have a checklist and that checklist, I mean, before we even become born, so we're alive, right? And we're from another planet, probably, and we want to come to this planet because we want to grow. Well, <clears throat> so that means I made a checklist out and everything that's happened to me is according to plan. So the fact that I have a mental illness is I planned it out, you know? And I don't want to believe that, even though it's probably true. I don't want to believe it because when it comes down to it, I don't want to be surprised. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to be so damn planned, you know, like what's that about? And actually she's coming to our hometown August 6th. So, you know, we'll go see her and see what's happening. I'll be interested in uh, seeing if she knows anything about past lives. Um, I have no recollection whatsoever of any past life, so you know what? I want to know if I if it's possible. I'm if it's true that we have past lives that we are reincarnations of past lives, then that means we could have been a woman, or if you were a woman, you could have been a man previously. So I just think that. Uh, It might be important to know that. I mean, I've seen enough movies like Dead Again and stuff like that where, you know, people are dealing with serious shit in their life. And uh, and it's helpful to know what's happened before. So, you know, and I don't know if they can... I think I have some psychic ability. I believe everyone does. It's just a lot of people are just so damn busy with their lives. They don't have no damn time to foster it. And I don't blame them, you know. So they make their money and they pay it to a psychic to help them out. But one thing I definitely don't want a psychic to do for me is to tell me my future. Because, I, like I say, I love the element of surprise. And if I'm not surprised about life, then what the hell? I don't even know if I should be living if I'm not surprised about what's happening. I don't want it all planned out like a retirement plan or something. My God. So... I hope it's an eye-opening experience. I hope that she actually knows my name or she knows me. She's like, she comes in the room, you know, she's like, oh, wow, there's a presence. There's some guy who's got a YouTube channel. And, you know, I got to have a, I have a message from him from the other side or something. Like, she believes that we have soulmates on the other side helping us so that Usually we're not married to our soulmates. So my wife reads this and she believes that. So what the hell? Like, I'm not our soulmate. Well, guess what? I already knew that. <laughs> we are so different, me and my wife. But I love it because you know why? I love being an individual. I would hate it if she was interested in what I'm doing. Like, she doesn't even look at my YouTube channel. <laughs> she could give a shit less. And that's the way I want it. One thing I'd like to know, too, is if I can make money off of being some sort of magician or some sort of power or some sort of psychic, you know, because like I've said before, I make 20000 a year, okay? The way it looks now, I'm probably going to continue that. And guess what? According to Sylvia Brown, that's the way I want it. Well, maybe I do, maybe I don't. I feel like something is missing in my life, and I think it's, it's, it's probably money. And, you know, I want things to change. I mean, within five or six days, I started a YouTube channel and I have over 10,000 hits, okay? Guess how much revenue that makes me. Absolutely zilch. 
so really all this is is a hobby. And like I've said before, usually what happens with me is I get interested intensely in something and then suddenly it dies. Suddenly I don't give a rat's ass about it. So by the time I could be making money with this, who knows, I might even stop the account. Been something totally new and different. So like I say, it's it's all written down and I need not worry about it. And I gotta stop looking at the stats. Like all I all I gotta do is think of this as a video blog, like who the hell cares if anyone's listening, right? Who who I mean all this really is is me. So all that matters is that I have my thoughts down somewhere. And really, the only cool thing about it, I don't really care about any money. What I really care about is if I'm influencing anybody, if I'm influencing their lives at all. That's what matters to me, and especially for the better. I don't, you know, all I want to do is bring a little bit of magic into people's lives. If they can see something a little bit clearer, a little bit deeper than they did before, then I think I've done my part here on this planet.